Hello everybody and welcome back to my third bullet class tutorial. In this tutorial we'll hopefully be finishing up our uh, program here. So where we left off I was just correcting a few mistakes I made and then we also defined our objects right here including a bullet vector that's going to store all of our bullets. So let's get into it. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to be able to move our players. So we'll just say the if uh, sf keyboard is key pressed and then we'll say sf keyboard w then we want to be able to move our player so we'll say player dot move and we want to move him if we want to move him up then we want to say zero for the x and then like let's move at a speed of six and actually i'm going to be let's just say uh, int move speed equal to six right here and then I'll just say actually I put this under an SF vector a vector a vector 2 to be specific and then I'll move at 0 and then negative move speed just like that and then we can copy this put in this under else if then for s we want to move at positive new move speed and then we can copy all this and then paste that down there and then we can put a D here for going left. Then we want to move at our negative move speed again. Then copy this one more time. Paste this down here. And then, uh, oh, actually, A is to go left. And then D is to go right. And so you want to move at a positive move speed. So now if we go ahead and we run this, we can move our player across the screen. Revolutionary. And then the next thing that we want to be able to do is we want to add a handler for our bullets. Or we want to be able to press a key and have our bullet fire. So I'm going to be saying, actually, how about, I'll put it up here. And then I'll do, I can't remember, I think it's, I think I say case, or no, 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 I don't do that, not for this. I can just put it down here and I'll say, if... Uh, key, SF keyboard is key pressed uh, SF keyboard space so if they press the space bar then what we want to do is we just want to set a variable and this variable how about we declare it up here we'll say bool is firing equal to false we just want to set is firing equal to true. So we just want to tell the computer that, hey, we're firing now. So this will just set a variable to true. So how do we actually get the bullet to fire? Well, what we have to do is we should go down here and then we want to go ahead and say if is firing is equal to true, then what we want to do is we want to create a bullet called new bullets and let's do sf vector to float and let's make it uh, how about like 50 by 5 so it looks kind of like a bullet then we will set new bullet dot set did I not do a set position thing oh I'll have to do that actually yeah let's go into our bullet class and let's add a void set position and then sf vector to float new position and then we'll just say bullet dot set position new position just like that and then we want to say new bullet dot set position sf vector to vector to float and then we're going to set that to player dot get x for the first position and then we want to set player dot get y for the second position so this will set the bullet relative to the player and then lastly we want to say uh, bullet vector I think I called it dot push back we want to push back our new bullet just like that and then we can go come down here and we can create a for loop and we can say for int i equal to zero while i is less than bullet vec dot size then we want to say 
I++ and then we want to just say bullet vec I dot fire and then I think we also put a parameter in here let's fire at a speed of 3 alright so let's go ahead and see if this works so if it's space then nothing happens hold on a second okay so I figured out I missed a couple of things actually first thing I forgot to draw my bullet to the screen that's probably important so we have to draw our bullet to the window and then we also want to set is firing equal to false here after all this is done just to try and get some consistency and I accidentally said one uh, equal sign instead of two and that was where that uh, that's where all my problems were coming from so then if we go ahead and come in here and then we press our spacebar as you can see a bullet does indeed come out of our player because we can move him around heals and the bullet will still come out of our player just like that so yeah that's pretty cool so then the next thing is how do we detect collisions well we can put this under another for loop so we can say for int i equal to zero while i is less than bullet vec dot size and then we'll say i plus plus then all we have to do is say bullet vec i dot uh, dot check did i oh wait uh, we have to say enemy dot check collision with bullet vec i just like that and then did I draw everything to the screen? Alright, so now if we shoot our enemy, it disappears. Just like that. And let me let's just make sure that it is disappearing because of the bullet, not just disappearing because okay. So if we fire under it doesn't disappear, fire over it doesn't disappear. If we fire on it, it disappears. Just like that. Okay. So yeah, that will do it for this mini tutorial series here on how to create a bullet in SFML C++. All the source code will be down in the description. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time. Bye.